Maca's guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Maka here. Welcome back to more Sniper Elite 5. This is the continuation of our 100% collectibles guide. This is mission number four called War Factory, taking you through all 19 of the collectibles as always. We'll start off very early on as soon as we gain control of our character. We'll probably end up here and you can just follow along this edge. There are a couple of enemies you can snipe and take care of uh, pretty early on in this mission. And then in this first little office, you can find the first personal letter of the mission. Good to know. If we then continue on just a little bit more forward, we'll end up kind of going starting in the north and kind of circling around the map. But inside of here, there is an optional objective working with the generator and destroying the valves in order to uh, kill some power. And if you go in here in the main generator control room upstairs, you can find personal letter number two. We'll then move over to this kind of junkyard train yard. There's a full size train yard coming up later, but this is in the top right corner, the northeast. And as we make our way through here, if we follow kind of the middle train tracks, you'll see these steel beams that are resting nearby a generator. And here you can find our first hidden item. From the last collectible, we can also find our first classified document. So just follow along and go around this giant pile of bricks and metal. You'll go underneath this kind of excavator and sitting on another pile of steel beams, you can find the document. We're then going to follow the road and we're going to make our way towards the kind of large refinery building, the really, really tall one. And this will be the pistol workbench. We will need a special key from a special enemy, so keep your eyes peeled here. We're gonna work our way into the refinery. I've taken care of all of the enemies. I've actually done my objective here even. But as soon as we enter from this backside ramp, go up the stairs and then go up the next set of stairs. And on that floor, there will be two enemies. One of them will be a standard unit, but one of them will be an upgraded unit like a officer for example and you'll need to take care of both of these units and if you search the officer you'll end up getting a key from them we will need this key to get the pistol workbench so this is what the officer looks like right here i'm going to scan them so obviously i've already picked up the key but nearby to where they usually roam kind of back and forth here you can also find a ladder so we're going to take that ladder down you can also use the stairs that we took to get up here to get back down but we'll end up kind of crossing across the middle of the refinery this is where the controls were to actually destroy the refinery kind of and as we cross this bridge there will be three doors in front of you we're going to go for the most right hand side door first and we're going to use that key that we got from that officer to open up the funk room according to the sign there up top and inside of here you can find the pistol workbench sorry that took so long but that's the only way to get in additionally though you can find a classified document nearby when i said there were three doors if you take the middle door of the three doors right here you'll go to the control room and inside of the control room you can pick the lock and you'll find classified document on the desk on the right hand side after completing the little objective at the refinery, we're going to follow the main road that links to it and we're going to end up going up the hill and we should end up right here, going underneath this large pipe. If we stay on the ground floor and enter the building on our right, being on the lowest floor possible, in the far corner from the entrance, you'll find a ladder, but you'll also find a personal letter. Make sure you pick that up. Now from the last collectible, we're actually going to go up the ladder that was right next to it. And as soon as we climb up the ladder, we will be able to go through this door in the back here by picking the lock. As soon as you gain access inside, follow along to the opposite side of the room where you'll see another ladder. We can take that ladder down and into a secret room. And inside of that secret room, we can find a very well hidden rifle workbench. Now from the previous collectible, we're going to end up following the road and ending up in front of this giant central building where there's an optional objective where you can take out a scientist, grab their key, operate the crane and score that second objective. But instead, we're just going to walk in front right through the front door, turn left and immediately you'll see a ladder. Take that ladder up into a little small secret side room and here you can find a personal letter. 
Otherwise, you can do the secondary objective here if you want. We've now followed the road and found ourselves to the west of that large central building here. We're walking underneath those two arms that let vehicles in and out. And there's a small little wooden outpost here uh, to the right. If we follow along here, we'll go through this red door up these stairs and we can find this tucked away room with a classified document inside. There's also a ladder that leads to this room, but it was glitched for me and I couldn't climb it without falling down. However, from here, we can climb the ladder down. So walk across the catwalk and climb the ladder down. Here, you'll notice that there is a small little balcony kind of thing that you can stand on and we'll be able to shoot two stone eagles from here. Look 45 degrees to your right and you should notice a building that is kind of like a castle spire and it kind of sticks out pretty well from all of the other buildings, finding the stone eagle on the top left corner of it. While still standing here, if you turn about 90 degrees to your left, you'll notice a large building with a kind of conveyor belt that feeds into the top of it. And on top of this building, we can find another stone eagle. So make sure you shoot that as well. From where we just shot the stone eagles, you can go down the steps and you'll end up on the kind of main train tracks here and we'll be able to find a personal letter inside of this kind of maintenance facility that is above the train tracks. So if you follow them, you'll end up in this small building, pick the lock to enter the side room on the right hand side or use the bolt cutters and inside you can find a pretty obvious personal letter. I've now made my way back to that main road that we were just at. There's kind of a lot of collectibles that are weirdly scattered, so it's not going to be like the best order. But if you walk down this ramp, there will be a kind of tank that runs back and forth. But there will also be this little uh, building here with a pretty well hidden ladder on the side. And if we climb this ladder, we will find a door that leads to the SMG workbench. Now, in order to get inside, you will need a key and or a satchel charge. So make sure you find a satchel charge. There's a couple nearby, but blow open the room and go inside to find the SMG workbench. Now I'm pretty much in the exact same location as we just ended up with the last collectible on this main road traveling south. And for this, we will need a specific key combination from an officer and your, or you'll need a satchel charge. But it's this officer right here that ends up roaming in this exact area. However, if you spook everyone and they run around, he'll obviously move as well. So if you do get him, make sure you grab the safe combination off of him. But once you do have that, go inside and you will find a very obvious classified document sitting on these boxes. Let's play pretend and pretend that I actually caught this on my first recording and that I didn't accidentally forget to record. Then all you can do is go upstairs and go into the safe combination room, open up the safe and find hidden item number two inside. Again, I accidentally forgot to record so you won't see me pick it up. We've now made our way into this giant circular building near the bottom right hand corner of the map. One of our main objectives are here and it's for the furnace. So you can enter this building from a wide variety of areas. I entered from the south. And if you just climb up the stairs halfway up the scaffolding, you'll have to take these stairs to get to the top anyways, because you need to interact with something. But about halfway up, you can spot a side room with an office. And here you can find personal letter number six. Now there is a missable achievement or trophy during this mission called Locomotion Commotion. I'm going to show you how to grab that right now. I am on the train tracks heading towards this giant building in front of me. And before I go for this shot, I'm going to pause my game and save it. Just in case I miss, I can reload that save. What I want to do is I want to aim inside of the crane operator room and I want to shoot the controls of the crane. If I shoot the controls correctly, it should cause an accident. This accident will destroy some trains and I will unlock this very missable and very optional achievement slash trophy.
Last but not least, just where we grabbed locomotion, commotion, achievement slash trophy, we can also grab our last two collectibles, including this stone eagle. So I'm standing right on the train tracks, and instead of going forward, I'm going to go slightly to the left. And this is going towards the exfiltration or exit of the mission if you have all the objectives done. Right next to the exfiltration, there's this large red building. And on top of that red building to the left of the road, you can find a stone eagle sitting on top. Last but not least, I'm going to return to the train tracks where I got the locomotion commotion achievement slash trophy. And here we can grab our last hidden item and last collectible of the mission. Now we're actually going to go into the building following the train tracks. As we enter the building, take a right hand side turn. This will allow you to go up the stairs. And once you get to the top of the stairs, go all the way to the opposite side of the catwalk and pick up the hidden item on the ledge here. And from here on out, you can verify that you have 19 out of 19 by using your service record, and then you can exfiltrate the mission for the next video. Thank you for watching. I hope it was enjoyable. Share it with a friend, like the video, and I'll see you soon. Special thanks to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. Peace.